Now, tell me if I'm getting outside your realm here, Ken, because one of the things I know in terms of the Purdue case, uh, the Supreme Court is now taking a look at that case to see whether bankruptcy court is is the right way to be coming up with essentially the funds. That's the mechanism through which the Sackler family has put aside $6 billion, which will be dispensed. Do you have any views on that, or would you prefer to remain neutral? Oh, no, no. That, that, that's a very interesting issue that the Supreme Court's going to take. I mean, you can make a strong argument that the willingness of the Sackler family to contribute um, four times or more uh, to a, a bankruptcy fund, Purdue, in mm-hmm. order to compensate victims is, a, is, a, a, is justifiable. And then mm-hmm. what they want in return for that money is a promise, legal promise, not to be sued again. That's why the, the Supreme Court's going to have to decide whether or not bankruptcy and and a, uh, a channeling injunction that would give uh, the Sacklers protection, even though they're not bankrupts, is uh, an appropriate use of the bankruptcy law. And that's going to be decided by the court. Do you have a view on that or? No, I I, I don't really have a view. I will say this in light of your opening comments. Using bankruptcy as a venue to resolve mass claims, J&J, talc, Mm -hmm. uh, Imrecypress talc, um, um, uh, Georgia Pacific and Best Wall, um, those cases where the bankruptcy court becomes the favored forum to resolve mass claims. Highly controversial today, uh, ultimately will have to be decided, I think, by the Supreme Court. And you can make strong arguments in favor and against in terms of using bankruptcy as the appropriate mechanism to provide certainty and speed in resolving mass litigation. One of the interesting things about mass litigation um, is the U.S. has always been seen as a place where people can get highly compensated when they are injured. As more of these incidents take place, whether it's mass shooting, climate disasters in Maui, what impact does that have? Have you seen an impact? It would seem to me that the average amount of money that a victim would get would go down because more of these incidents are taking place and there's got to be some consequences to that. I yes don't know. No? The, the, pla- the, the plaintiff lawyer is very effective, very credible. They would say that the only way, the only realistic way to provide appropriate compensation for hundreds or thousands of victims is through some sort of mass litigation, whether it be a class action, whether Mm -hmm. it be bankruptcy. uh, And that's because justice delayed is justice denied. And if you've got thousands of claims, there must be a way to aggregate the claims in order to process them quickly and efficiently and more fairly. Sometimes um, that is the case. Other times you'll get pushback from companies or uh, the government that doesn't like the idea, but it's certainly viable. It's a credible way. And I do think, I do think compensation in the United States for individual claimants um, is much, much greater, much greater than you would receive in any type of action in Europe or Asia or anywhere else in the in, in, in the world, the the American legal system is unique in its uh, compensating uh, victims uh, for for mass tragedy. 